Okay, now we're going to mix insulins. What we're going to do is we're going to mix regular insulin and N or NPH insulin for our patient. When we're doing this, we have to make sure that we do the order of draw correctly. First things I'm going to do is I'm going to check my order. I have an order for regular insulin, 6 units, and NPH un insulin, 18 units, every AM. So I have my regular and I have my N. I have my alcohol wipe and I'm going to scrub the top of both for 3 to 5 seconds. And before I open my syringe, I need to make sure that my N, which is cloudy and has precipitate in it, is well mixed. So I'm going to roll it between my hands. We never shake it because we don't want to get air bubbles in there. So I roll it like this to make sure it's ready. If I would touch the top, I would just re-alcohol off the top to make sure it was clean. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to open my insulin syringe. And I have to put air in and draw up in the same order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about putting air in the long, air in the short, drawing up the short, drawing up the long. So I need to put 18 units of air into the end, so I drop 18 units. I take off my needle cover and put it on the sterile field. Put 18 units in. And next I need to put 6 units of air into the regular, so I do that. And then I immediately am going to flip and drop my 6 units of regular. Now the important thing with this is that I need to get all the air bubbles out and make sure it's exact before I go to the NPH insulin, which is next, because if I don't, I will not know what I have in my syringe if I need to make any corrections. So because this needle is so fine, what I normally do is drop just a little bit of extra, just like we did before, tap all my air bubbles to the top, and then I clear them out the top of my syringe, making sure I have exactly six units with no air bubbles. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go immediately into my NPH insulin. I'm going to flip it up, and remembering that I need to drop 18 units, which would give me a total of 24 units, I need to spot that on my syringe, because I cannot go over or under. I need to go directly down and draw up to 22, and then to 24, and stop. And I can make no adjustments at this point. If I need to make any adjustments, I need to actually dispose of the syringe and start over. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to recap my needle to make sure I'm ready to, for administration for my patient. I'm going to check that I have 24 units. I'm going to check that I had 24 units here that I need to drop total. I'm going to check my glucose on my patient to make sure that I'm able to give this insulin before, um, to make sure their glucose can handle it. And that's mixing insulins, regular and NPH.